How's it going guys, Vlad here and today I got something special on the package uh, which is as you can see the LCD keypad shield so I'm going to give a uh, quick overview about this uh, shield, my impressions um, what I find it's useful for how to actually use it with your Arduino because it is useful for quite a few projects um, I'm gonna give a quick overview so uh, let's jump right into it so first things first, uh, what do you get on your shield? So obviously you get the potentiometer to control your brightness, you get a breakout for your um, programmer, you get the LCD display itself, this is the standard display that you have in the Arduino libraries, uh, you get six push buttons labeled select, left, right, up and down, as well as reset, which is mapped to the reset of the Arduino. You also get a power LED, which displays the status um, of your um, board and uh, obviously you get the headers so uh, these are these headers are actually not the R3 headers they are coming from the previous version of the UNO so as you would know as you will soon notice you're missing two pins um, from each side but obviously it still works with the R3 there is no problems there so uh, what you gotta do is simply align it with your uh, Arduino board and you just go ahead and snap it in place. So first impressions, um, this, is a quite an, uh, this is quite a nice shield, the potentiometer is a nice touch, you can very quickly adjust the contrast of your display to make sure everything's there. Um, the breakout for the programmer, I don't know how useful that's going to be because obviously you can very easily program through the USB of the Arduino. Uh, the four buttons up, down, uh, left and right are actually mapped to the uh, analog zero pin as you can see here. So that's, uh, that's quite strange for me. I mean they're using different resistance value and you have to detect the level uh, of the resistor on the analog pin. So that's a I mean that's an interesting way of doing things but that's not what I would have uh, probably preferred and it would have been nice to have them mapped in a different way to each uh, like each own pin. Uh, as far as the LCD goes this is a standard LCD that you would get uh, even if you would buy it alone I mean um, it is a nice board. Um, the headers are actually nice except that I had them arrive a little bit bent but uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, the PCB construction is um, also durable, I would say. Uh, they did a qu quite a nice job uh, with uh, making the holes, as you can see, through the PCB, so you could actually mount this uh, in a very easy way. You could just keep the standard um, LCD holes, and that should do it. Actually, now that I look at it, you wouldn't be able to put a screw through both of these because the Arduino is going to be in the way. So that's that could cause uh, some challenges. Uh, I like the power LED except its brightness. Uh, as you're going to see as I plug in the, sh the Arduino. Um, and I don't know if the video actually does it, ju it justice. But the uh, LED is actually quite bright on here. So... I mean, they could have used the dimmer LED. What I have running here is a an example sketch from the LCD library on the Arduino. So as you can see, it's just hello world, scrolling left and right. Uh, in order to have this work as is, uh, you would have to re remap your pins. So right here I have the standard layout and I'm sure it's, uh, it's going to be very easy for you to find if you have any difficulties. So like I said the analog 0 has your buttons digital 4 is going to be DB4 or D4 so that's on your LCD those are the four pins that you need to uh, connect to so D4, D5, D6 and D7 and they're gonna go exactly as you expected digital 4, 5, 6, 7 on the Arduino the RS pin and uh, the enable pins are going to be on digital 8 and uh, 9 and the backlit display is going to go on 10. So if you have any questions, what do these pins actually do, what kind of data is being sent, go back to the LCD display uh, tutorial I had done uh, earlier and uh, look a bit more into that. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly review the shield. 
I mean, you can get these anywhere from uh, $7 um, all the way up to, I believe, 20 or even 30 if you buy them uh, branded. So I think Adafruit sells their own. Uh, a few other manufacturers have made their own. And I mean, I keep saying you get what you pay for, but that's really the case because uh, you get a nicer board. You can get uh, SMD style push buttons so they feel much nicer. You can get a a slightly nicer LCD screen and a better potentiometer you're gonna see that it's not soldered um, God knows where by um, by hand um, so yeah um, let me know if you guys are using this for any of your projects um, and one last thing actually I forgot to mention so for the headers if you actually wanted to break out the pins that you're not using uh, they provided a space where you could solder your own headers so I'm not a huge fan of it, not just going through a hole and um, providing that space on top of these, but I mean, um, if you actually need those pins and you're not just simply using the display and the four buttons, which I'm sure most of you aren't, you're going to have to go ahead and solder some uh, male or female headers on there, but that shouldn't be uh, too difficult of a task. So let me know once again if um, you actually want me to... Uh, to program anything on this but I mean it's uh, just a different pen out from the other LCD so thank you guys for watching hope to see you next time for some more uh, module reviews take care bye